Don't sleep on Julius Randle or you'll be left in the dust. His team will rally behind his fire as they prepare to do battle at Scotia Bank Arena. Knicks, Raptors, up next. Thanks for joining us on a picture-perfect Sunday night for some NBA on 2K Sports. Brian Anderson here, joined by our analyst, Hall of Famers Grant Hill and Doris Burke, plus reporting from the sidelines, Allie LaForce. Allie, take it away. Thanks, guys. Julius Randle became an all-star in New York, but it was back in New Orleans that he found a stroke. The coaches told him, let it fly, and he said, quote, that's all I needed to hear. This league is about opportunity, confidence, and mindset. Those things came in all at once in New Orleans, and I was able to build on that. Brian? Thanks, Allie. And now the opening lineup for New York. At forward, it's Barrett and Randall. Josh Hart is out there with Jalen Brunson. And it's Robinson in at the center position, locking down the middle. And for Toronto, Siakam and Achua down low at the four and the five. Then there's Scotty Barnes. Then it's Fred Van Vliet. And it's Benton in at the two. Well, for the Knicks, what's it going to take to bring them back to the glory days? Oh, that's a loaded question, B.A. But first of all, a superstar would certainly help. They haven't really had one for quite some time. If they can either develop or attract an elite all-star player, that would be a start to turning this New York franchise around and becoming possibly a contender. Outside Barrett. Pass to Hart. Outside Barrett. Six on the shot clock. Robinson on the wing. Here's Hart. Achua with a rebound. Barnes against Hart. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. It goes on Josh Hart. This is a guy very willing to put his body on the line. Scotty Barnes gets that defense to commit and accepts the contact. First one falls. Well, Grant, we've seen the NBA evolve quite a bit since your playing days. How do you think you'd be used in today's game versus when you play? Well, B.A., with the spacing in today's game and my ability to slash to the rim, I think I would still be able to get to the basket, dominate in the mid-range, but I'd be shooting way more threes, and I would see more minutes playing as a small ball power forward as well. Well, free throws good from Barnes. How about Scotty Barnes, guys? The fourth pick in his draft class, a guy who proved from the outset he was going to be reliable, efficient, versatile, and a two-way player. Pretty impressive stuff. Brunson against Van Vliet. And looks like an illegal pick was set. That gets the ref's attention. Ref's calling it close already as he picks up a quick early foul. Here's Brunson. And just about a minute into this first quarter. Hart from long range. Nails it from three. You don't want to let him get into a rhythm from out there. Van Vliet with it. Pass to Barnes. To the wing on the left. Here's Benton. Randall pulls down the board. Well, it's a make-or-miss league. Sometimes the Jays just don't fall. It wasn't a bad shot. Brunson passes to Hart. Achua with a steal. Back to Siakam. Van Vliet outside. Tries it from 19. Batten can't get it to go. Well, defenses are content to give up the mid-range, right? It's not the high percentage restricted area or the three. You can see they're prepared to give up that shot. Brunson. He got a piece of it. 
Van Vliet against Barrett. Kicks it out to Barnes. Pass to Siakam. Barnes. It's good on the putback. Well, that's Scotty Barnes doing one of the things he does best, getting after the offensive glass. Now here's Hart from downtown. The offensive rebound. He gets it in there. Just taking it right to the rim, and no one was there to greet him. But I think defensively, that is not the way you want to start. Giving up high percentage looks, that doesn't typically end well. Now here's Van Vliet. Doing some damage on the offensive end. Putting up a little over 14 points a game. Siakam, the pass to Van Vliet. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. Yet another miss. Just one for five. Not exactly an ideal start. And it's good. Two points. Hart's got five. That's two things right there for R.J. Barrett. It's awareness and unselfishness. Pretty pass. And that streaking rack attack is the mobile one drive. Yeah, and in close games like this one, B.A., you need toughness. Guys who will run to the fight and get after it. Randall with a steal. The officials were right on top of that one. And Josh Hart listed at 6'5", but he plays much bigger than that. He does. I mean, just so strong on defense in the post, B.A. Often will guard up a position... And his rebounding numbers show he plays well above his listed height. Pirtles checked in for Toronto. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Well, Doris, it was only a few years ago that the Raptors won an NBA title. It seems like a lot further back, though. It does, B.A., because we're looking at a much different basketball team. Obviously, Kawhi Leonard has moved on. Kyle Lowry has moved on. In fact, many of the key players from that squad have moved on. Incredible to think they have managed to remain competitive. And it's the Knicks with the ball. Following the bucket by the Raptors. Pass to Barrett. Randall outside. And here's Brunson. Five on the clock. And he lobs it up to the rim. Robinson can't hit. Well, he saw the play coming together, but the timing was just a little off. It was a really good thought for sure, but the lob has got to be better than that. Now here's Barnes. He's got six. And there's Van Fleet on the assist by Barnes. Now, we know this about Scotty Barnes. He has a team-first mindset. Finds the open player in that instance. Pass to Randall. That one no good. And it's Toronto taking it the other way. Victory eluded him last time in New York when they faced the Knicks. It's simple. Your defense has to be razor sharp on the road. You really want to take the crowd out of the game. Easier said than done. I'll tell you this. It looked like they wanted to get out of town as quickly as possible. The problem is their defense went with them. Now a timeout called by New York. They come into this one following the loss to Atlanta. And, and you know, I mean, they played with great energy all the way through. Just fell a little bit short. If they're playing in their own building, they probably win that basketball game. The reality is it's a hard thing to win on the road in the NBA. Now here's Hart. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against the Hawks in Atlanta. Barnes against Barrett. Hart from long range. Drills it from deep. Hart's got 10. Well, they're calling his number time and time again, and he is delivering. Van Vliet against Brunson. Pass to Benton. Outside Barnes. Here's Van Vliet. Now here's Achua. The Raptors need to get off a shot. Let's the three fly. Hart pulls it in. New York has gone two for four from range to start things off. Pass to Robinson. The three, Barrett, nails it from beyond the arc. Boy, you've got to be shot ready in catch-and-shoot situations. And we know RJ's got a quick trigger. Brunson against Van Vliet. Here's Benton. It doesn't go for him. Boy, surprised he missed that. The defense just good enough to prevent that bucket. Oh, 
Pass to Hart. Barrett against Barnes. And that's a foul called on Jakob Pertl. That's his first foul. Pertl comes with a double. Randall with it. Over Achua. Pertl with the block. Active defense from Jakob Pertl. That's the key. When he stays active and alert, blocks are going to be there for him. Well, deliver the pass where your teammate can do something with it. Nice. New York has gone three for five from deep so far in this matchup. Pass to Barrett. Back to Brunson. And that puts them just one foul from the bonus. The Knicks making a switch here. Sims is checked in. To the middle. Powered down after the assist led him to the lane. Well, Julius Randle can do a little bit of everything. That's a great find to get his teammate an open look. Van Vliet against Brunson. Here's Barnes. The shot comes out. New York goes the other way with it. Pass to Brunson. From the arc. And the Knicks, another three. This defense is getting spaced out. Three of the last five buckets have come from way beyond the arc. Van Vliet against Brunson. To the paint. Here's Benton. The putback. Controls the rebound and the putback. This team loves it when Pirtle can make an impact on the offensive glass. There's a lot of ways he can get his points, but this is an easy one. Now here's Barrett. A really disappointing game for him in that loss to Atlanta. Hart passes to Brunson. Back to Hart. There's the triple. Toronto grabs the miss. Hurdle's got four rebounds now. Here's Benton. He's covered by Hart. Brunson against Van Vliet. Here's Pirtle, and it's rejected. Right side Hart. That one a little long. Toronto trailing. Here's Benton. He had a 24-point outing in their last game against Boston. And here we go, the Knicks in transition. Outside Hart, it's stolen by Pirtle. And lead against Randall. Pass to Pirtle. And stolen by Barrett. In transition. Up ahead. The kick out to Brunson. Now Barrett. His numbers are solid. Putting up around 18 points a game. Clock at six. Second chance shot. Out to the right wing. It's stolen by Pirtle. Hard against Van Vliet. Lays it up and banks it in. Van Vliet's got six. These defenders really need to man up, particularly in the lane. New York has gone four of seven from three-point range here in the first. Time called here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. Yeah, ever since the Nets relocated to Brooklyn in 2012, the rivalry between the Nets and Knicks has intensified. Now, both teams trying to prove that New York belongs to them. So Toronto going with almost an entire new group here. Boucher's checked in for Achua. Trent comes in for Barnes. Porter Jr., he's checked in for Banton. And it's Barton in for Van Vliet. It'll be hard for the Nets to take New York City away from the Knicks. They've been there so long. <laughs> so true, B.A. But the Nets have attracted more star players lately. Top free agents choosing to go to the Nets instead of the Knicks. We'll see if this trend continues moving on. And again, the Knicks missing. I think he's got to settle down. Because right now it feels like he's rushing, like he's forcing some shots. This quarter he has been completely bothered. Now here's Barton. 
Right now averaging five and a half a game. It's deflected. And he gets it back. That's a crafty move by Mr. Boucher. Bates the defense with the up fake, gets the whistle. That is textbook basketball. All right, guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Knicks. Well, in today's NBA, the three-point shot is so valuable. They realize this, and that's why they're continuing to drain as many as they can. Another big component of their early game tonight has been points off turnovers. Great job converting on those chances. And he drops the first. What I like about Chris Boucher is he seems to understand what his team expects from him. They need him to guard. They need him to rebound. And they know how aggressive and assertive he is on the offensive end. And Boucher drops them both. Now here's Fournier. Quickly outside. Pass to Barrett. Back to quickly. And stolen by Boucher. Martin against quickly. Ooh, he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. First free throw is good. He's off on the second. So far, rebounding has been a focal point for them. Boy, there were lots of expectations that accompanied R.J. Barrett coming out of college. That's going to happen when you're the third overall pick. Ooh, how sick was that, guys? I mean, he makes defenders look silly with moves like that. Now here's Barton. A minute and a half left in the first quarter here. Porter finds Pirtle. Five to shoot. The three. They get it again. It's good on the putback. They just look so overwhelmed inside. You know, that's why they continue to get attacked. Outside Barrett. Back to Fournier. Pass to quickly. Fires the three. And the ball out of play. The Raptors will have it. And that shot was going nowhere thanks to that aggressive swat. What a powerful rejection. He's not wanting them to get an advantage in this competitive game. Toronto has gone 0 for 2 from outside. And here's Pirtle. An important role in this offense, averaging around 12 and a half per game. Boucher, no good. And there's the foul. It's on Chris Boucher. That's his first foul. Toppin, he's checked in for Barrett. The Knicks with the lead. Toppin outside. Pass to quickly. Plenty of space. Pirtle grabs a miss. Pirtle's got seven rebounds in the game. Barton attacking. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Shooting two. Oh, 
The first free throw is good. And it's tied up with that one. They're really not doing themselves any favors picking up this many fouls so early. Porter against quickly. Pass to Hartenstein. Fournier for three. He got it up in time, but it would not fall for him. And so it's Scotty Barnes making things happen for the Raptors. Eight points in the quarter, showing how effective he can be. Back to the game after this break. Good action already in this one. But a fairly even matchup after this first quarter of play. You know, you take a look at the Raptors' performance here, guys. What are your thoughts? Well, it's pretty obvious. I mean, cashing in on extra opportunities. That's how they built this early lead. Yeah, the defense hasn't been there. They are getting hammered on second-chance opportunities. So it's Toronto now. Following this one, they hit the road to challenge the Kings at Golden 1 Center in Sacramento. They'll be embarking on an epic journey. Seven road games in all. The forward duo, the athletic pair of Barnes and Siakam. Van Vliet and Trent Jr. team up as the backcourt. And it's Achua in at the five, roaming the paint. That's the group for Toronto to kick off the second quarter. Brunson passes to Robinson. Brunson with it. Pass to Quickly. Toppin outside. Back to quickly. Six to shoot. 11 feet out. That one's wide left. The Raptors with a lead. And lead on the wing. Brunson defending. And lead against Brunson. The three from Barnes. They get it back. Here's the Chua. Pass to Siakam. Another shot. And he lays it up and in. And the Raptors lead by four. Well, desire. Pascal Siakam has a ton of that. He's overcome so much in his life. You think a little bump in the road is going to stop him? Now here's quickly. Coming off a 16-point game against Atlanta. Here's Toppin. It's rebounded by Pascal Siakam. Well, certainly not the best defensive effort, but this guy can't make them pay for their laziness. Barnes, no good. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. That's just good awareness from top and willing to get it to the open guy immediately. Love the unselfishness. Now here's Van Vliet. He has six. Pass to Trent. You know, in baseball, Grant, they have a term, a five-tool player. In the NBA these days, it's similar. You need those well-rounded players to succeed. Ah, I like the baseball reference, but you're spot on, B.A. It's all about bringing versatility to the game. Players that can shoot, pass, dribble, defend, and rebound. And I'll throw it even in their lead and play selfless basketball. Those kind of guys that can do it all, that's a recipe for success in the NBA. Now here's Van Vliet. Pass to Barnes. Fires for three. And Toppin pulls it down. For New York, they've gotten only one of four shots to go in. And we're now a little over two and a half minutes into the second. Here's Sims. It's rebounded by Pascal Siakam. Siakam's got five rebounds in the game. This has been a close game in a lot of ways, but they do have an edge on the board. This is what we would call a hot spot, particularly if Gary Trent Jr. is the shooter. Brunson with it. 17 points for him. Last game against the Hawks in Atlanta. And let's not forget about the assist. This guy as a playmaker was a driving force for that offense. Now here's quickly. Seven-point differential. 
Here's Robinson. And he recovers it. Knocked loose. Kicks it to quickly. Over Trent. Rebound by the Raptors. Siakam's got six rebounds in the game. And lead against Toppin. Right side Barnes. And a great assist by Van Vliet as that one goes. Van Vliet's got three assists tonight. New York has gotten five of 11 threes to drop so far in this game. Outside Brunson. Here's Sims. He's covered by Siakam. Now, B.A., you know they would love for him to get more of those opportunities. Well, that would cut into the deficit quickly if he does. Van Vliet against Brunson. Van Vliet, the pass to Achua. Back to Van Vliet. Pass to Barnes. Off target. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. New York trailing. Here's Quickly. He's covered by Siakam. And it's Quickly with a miss. Ooh, old school right there. No easy buckets. Here's Barnes. And he battles for the ball. Gets the second chance bucket. This is a real strength of Siakam's game. The ability to extend possessions and get second chance points on the board. Now a timeout called by New York. Protecting the rim has to be their top objective right now. And the question they're going to have to answer to me is, is it a problem with the scheme or is it a problem with matchups? The Raptors making a switch here. Banton's checked in. And lead against Brunson with the drive. Misses from close range. Oh, love the intensity in which they're hitting the boards. Here's Benton. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Here's Achua. And he drops it in from the low post. And it's an 11-point Toronto lead. And the defense has no one to blame but themselves. I mean, they just let him get right to the rim. To me, this has simply stated been a complete lack of defensive attention and focus all night long. Here's Hart. The Raptors making their last shot. Here's Brunson. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It goes on Fred Van Vliet. Well, one of the free agent moves that wasn't surprising was Brunson joining the Knicks. The two were enamored with each other early on in the process. A big signing for the Knicks, and Brunson now gets a chance to be a main piece of a team. good on that one and Jalen Brunson he's a great option on the floor Grant <laughs> yes he is can attack from different levels of the floor solid shooting threat from outside and gives you another playmaker to initiate the offense and he sinks the second the Raptors have gotten 7 of 12 shots to go here in the second. Now Van Vliet. Six points for him. Here's Benton. Blocked. Boy, aggressive defense from Toppin. Twice on the pipe. Send it back. Uh, the chemistry Toppin has with his teammates. Just get up over the rim and finish it with authority, Obi. Toronto has gone 1 of 4 from three-point land here in the second. Outside Barnes. to Siakam over Randall that went off the back iron and out New York has gotten 5 of 11 threes to drop so far in this game 
And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Precious Achua picks one up. Well, with his strength, Julius Randle can absorb contact easier than a lot of players. This guy is not going to be intimidated. And let's take a moment here to get your take, guys, on the scoring so far for the Raptors. They started this one on a mission to own their offensive rebounds, outworking the defense to win back the ball and get second-chance shots. You know, also, they've been incredible on the fast break, taking those chances, playing with great pace. And the first one at the line is good. And for Julius Randle, back in 2014, a nightmare start to his career, Greg. Oh, man, so sad. I mean, Julius breaking his leg just 14 minutes into his NBA debut. A serious injury that required him to miss his entire rookie season. But give Randle credit for coming back and carving out a great career. And Randle drops them both. Well, Julius Randle has made it clear he has big aspirations as a player. And what you love is he's going to invest the time to make his game all that much more dangerous. Here's Benton. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Van Vliet outside. Just five to shoot. Back to Barnes. The three is up. Good. And Van Vliet gets the assist. Van Vliet's got four assists in the game. And they're winning and playing with great confidence, but they need to be more efficient with those three-pointers. Now here's Barrett. He's got six. Brunson finds Barrett. Outside Hart. Pass to Brunson. It's tipped. Fires the three. And they'll get another chance. Now Randall with one on the clock. And it's Randall with the jam. Well, if the basket is within reach, Julius Randall understands how to finish. Here's Van Vliet. Some solid defense from Brunson. Ooh, I think he wants that one back. I mean, he knows he's capable of better. Ooh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. down the first one and they seem to have taken a more heads-on approach this quarter <laughs> and is getting them to the free throw line and some changes here for the Raptors Boucher's checked in for Achua Porter Jr. comes in for Scotty Barnes and it's Barton in for Fred Van Vliet and he makes both free throws he does a great job of drawing contact and getting himself to the line, something he didn't do in the first period. Now a timeout called by Toronto. And as we head into this break, the players have an opportunity to replenish their energy with Gatorade as they prepare to go into the final stages of this ballgame. Absolutely. Over the course of a game, not to mention over the course of a season, you have to stay hydrated. If you don't, it's amazing how much slower your body is to bounce back. It can have a serious effect on performance, no question. Hurdles checked in for Siakam. And a switch here also for New York. Fournier's checked in. Here's Benton. He's covered by Hart. Inside. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Well, you see Boucher willing to take a hit if it means getting to the free throw line. Nice job, Chris. Shooting two. Free throw drops for Boucher. Oh, 
And Boucher drops them both. New York trailing. Outside Hart. Pass to Barrett. Out to the right wing. Shot clock at six. Randall, the pass to Fournier. New York, no good that time either. Nice rebound. Trying to match the other team's intensity right now. Here's Benton. It's rebounded by Barrett. Barrett's got his sixth rebound on the night. It's amazing the success they've had with him shooting this way. Zero for the night. Pass to Hardenstein. Up and in on the layup. And once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. Toronto has gone 2 of 5 from distance here in the second quarter. On the wing, Barton. Barrett against Porter. From deep, Barton sinks it from distance. Barton's got six. Well, the basketball IQ on display for Otto Porter makes the right read there. Now here's Fournier. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. And here's Barton. Here he goes. And he banks in the layup. And now it's a 10-point Raptor lead. And just not letting up at all. I mean, you have to love this approach. You want to get the ball to the guys who make plays. One thing we've learned in the NBA, the game is never over. So you've got to continue to score, continue to build your lead. And the Knicks with the possession here. The Raptors making their last shot. Fournier against Barton. Fournier with the bucket. Fournier's got his first bucket in this one. And off the jump, they were effective from deep. I don't know why they haven't continued to fire from out there. Pass to Barton. Randall against Boucher. Back to Barton. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. That's on Evan Fournier. First free throw is good. Yeah, just knocking down every free throw. I mean, I love to see this kind of efficiency. Both free throws good from Barton. A minute 35 left to play in the first half. Outside Fournier. Outside Barrett. Got a hand on it. Here's Benton. Now quiet so far offensively. Searching for his first points of the game. There's the drive. And he jams it home with authority. Defensively, you can't afford to let him get to the rim that easily. Well, that might be why their deficit is what it is right now. I tell you, you can't get stops if you're unwilling to put in the work. Here's Hart following the bucket by the Raptors. Back to Barrett. Pass to Hart. Outside Fournier. Six on the shot clock. Randall inside. Boucher on him. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. Will Barton picks one up. Well, there's a certain edge that Julius Randle plays with that allows him to draw contact.
that free throw no good Gary Trent Jr. he's checked in for Toronto quickly is checked in for New York he hits the second from the line there's 42 seconds left in the second period. Here's Benton. Pass to Trent. Puts up a three. And the Raptors, another three. Well, you like that he shakes off that rocky first period and knocks down a shot. Nice. Quickly, outside. There's a four-second difference between the shot and game clock. Down to five on the shot clock. For three, Barrett. It's hauled in by the Raptors. A tough loss coming against Boston in their last game. I really think the nail in the... Oh, did he? He did! He got it to fall! He did, B.A. So nice. Oh, what a miraculous shot. He's going to remember that one. Listen, under duress of the end of the period, you just throw it up and hope. And so it's the Toronto Raptors leading by 17 at the end of the period. How about the way they've attacked the paint? This throwback approach is paying off. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. I'm here with Coach Tom Thibodeau. Coach, I saw you getting into your team. What's been the problem? We're playing a low-energy game. we got to get into the ball. Our ball pressure has to be a lot better. We've got to challenge shots, and we're playing low energy on offense. Energy goes a long way. Good luck getting that up in the second half. Appreciate it, Allie. And we'll be coming right back after this break, ready for the third quarter. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Boy, a lot of energy in this arena tonight. The, the hometown fans getting after it. I'm Ernie Johnson. Shaquille O'Neal's here. So is Kenny the Jet Smith. The first quarter for the Raptors was fairly even. And having been behind by as many as eight, they clawed their way back. They just exploded in the second quarter, grabbing the momentum and running with it. Basket after basket, and they played stingy defense. Now they've got a half point lead that's going to be very difficult to erase. And taking a look at the Raptors, Kenny, what did you see out there? Well, the bench came in and helped them run away with this one. Tremendous job of getting loose, getting open, and thrilling shots. You always want that spark off the bench. And these guys deliver. And Shaq, what are your thoughts on New York? They're getting abused in the paint defensively, letting their opponents set the tone. You can't match up physically, you're toast. That's what the scoreboard is reflecting right now. Toast with butter. And that's going to do it for our halftime show, sadly. Third quarter about to start. See you again after the final. Horn. Oh, buzzer. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback. One side trying to protect their lead. Scotty Barnes with a strong contribution so far in this one. He was getting into the lane easily that first half. It's just relentless. Now this guy is such a good finisher on the move, and so far the defense has not been able to counter it. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it's been a runaway. So on the floor for New York. At the four and the five, it's Randall and Robinson. Jalen Brunson is out there with Josh Hart. And it's Barrett in at the three slot. Now here's Brunson. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. That 
that free throw good from Brunton. He's perfect from the line this time. The way he's shooting free throws tonight, you simply don't want to put him there. Here's Benton. Pass to Siakam. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. They'll pin that one on Julius Randle. Now Pascal Siakam looking aggressive and determined, which forces the defender to commit the foul. And he drops the first. Boy, the evolution of Pascal Siakam has been such a pleasure to watch. The work ethic is commendable, and he's learning how to be a leader, guys. See, Occam hits them both. And New York shooting around 33%. Not the best offensive efficiency. Back to Brunson. Robinson against Achua. Robinson passes to Barrett. And here's Brunson. Nice dish, and the layup goes down. Brunson's got 10. Probably a play they drew up in the locker room at half. Well, there is nothing better than catching a rhythm as early as possible. And boy, that's a terrific start right there. That was another look at our Mobile One drive of the game just a moment ago. Yeah, he made that drive look easy, but that had a high degree of difficulty. So it's Toronto now. After the basket by New York. Benton. It's good. And give the assist to Siakam. And the Raptors lead by 17. And the Knicks with the possession here. Looking ahead, they've got the Cavaliers coming to town for their next one. And that's a one-game homestand for the club. This guy is so quick. Julius Randle finishes with a pretty dunk. Now here's Van Vliet. Six points for him. Pass to Achua. Brunson against Van Vliet. Now here's Siakam. Unable to get that one. Randall with some nice D. Early in his career, Mitchell Robinson feels like an old school big to me. This guy owns the painted area. He's completely focused on finding those close range opportunities to score it. And here's Brunson from the arc. Gets the three ball to go. Brunson's got seven points here in the quarter. Wow, what a start to this half. Three for three, dictating the pace on the offensive end. They're rolling early. <laughs> Slams it down with two hands. Man, they're really getting aggressive now. And the Knicks with the possession here. Mitchell Robinson's focus on high percentage looks has given him record-setting efficiency doors. It has, B.A. In the abrupt 2020 season, he finished with a field goal percentage of 74%. That put him over Wilt Chamberlain's old record. I think that says it all. Now here's Van Vliet. Down low. Robinson with a steal. Barrett with it. He's picked up by Barnes. Here's Randall. Oh, it's blocked by Barnes. Send it back, Scotty Barnes. Show off that defensive acumen. And the fans love seeing incredible moments on defense like that block. Yeah, just some terrific effort there. And you know the whole team will get an energy boost off a block like that one.
Second half of play, and we're three minutes into the third here. Barrett passes to Hart. Randall outside. Beyond the arc. He can't get it to go. And Toronto will go the other way with it. Van Vliet with it. He has six. Pass to Achua. Outside Barnes. Shot on the wing. Tries again. And Achua with a lay-in. Achua's gotten four this quarter. And this is exactly what he's capable of. He finds different ways to make an impact. This time on the offensive glass. How about the hustle on display there? That kind of effort will earn respect from everyone. Good on the bucket. Well, that's Randall working in his comfort zone. You can see how confident he is on his ability to score inside. And Toronto calls time here. Sims, he's checked in for New York. And Toronto has possession. They lead by 11. You got him. Here's Benton. Pass to Van Vliet. Here's Siakam. Clock at six. The Knicks pull it in. Well, they have the advantage, but you still feel like this guy needs to find a way to get himself going. And what an aggressive move to the rim. He's really trying to fire up his teammates right now. Boy, it's not hard to feel inspired after a teammate makes that kind of finish. Where was the defense? No help. You can't afford to give up these kinds of buckets. Now here's Siakam. He's got six. That shot is off. The Knicks have gotten six of eight shots to go and looking good since the break. Brunson passes to Barrett. Back to Brunson. Takes a three. Sinks the tray. Brunson's got ten points here in the second half. Hey, he's doing whatever he can right now to pump up his teammates. Outside Barnes. Pass to Benton. And here's Siakam. Let's a floater go. It's rebounded by Barrett. Barrett's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. And here's Brunson from the arc. Toronto grabs the miss. Siakam's got ten rebounds here tonight. So active. Here's Van Vliet. Oh, and just miss after miss right now. New York has gone three of five from downtown here in the second half. Brunson passes to Barrett. Yes, and a nice assist from Brunson. Brunson's got his fourth assist in this one. They've come into the second half with renewed focus at the offensive end, putting in a big effort. Here's Benton. Pass to Barnes. Here's Benton. Van Vliet outside. Into the lane. Oh, a beautiful reverse layup. Van Vliet's got eight. Well, if you think about Fred Van Vliet's handle and his ability to operate at different speeds, you understand how effective he can be on the drive. The Knicks have gotten eight of 11 shots to go in. Efficient so far in the third. Outside Hart. Barnes against Barrett. Here's Sims. The ball's knocked loose. Here's Hart. Achua with a rebound. The Raptors have gotten only four of ten shots to fall so far in the third. Here's Van Vliet. Hart pulls it in. Hart's got four rebounds in the game. And the call will be against Fred Van Vliet. That's his fourth foul of the contest. And the Raptors making a change here. Trent's checked in. Toppin, he's checked in for New York. Quickly comes in for Hart. Now here's Brunson. He's got 16. Pass to Barrett. Quickly against Trent. Quickly passes to Barrett. 
shoots over Barnes. And New York, no good that time either. And just not allowing the shooter to get comfortable from mid-range. Well, he sees the play developing, takes care of his responsibility, just terrific job defensively. I like that. I mean, some physical play inside. He's not about to give up any easy baskets. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Raptors. you got to admire how hard they've worked to get to the line. All game long, they've been going right into the defense and drawing foul after foul. I think the other thing we're seeing tonight is the floor spacing of this team. Boy, they are shooting the cover off the basketball all game. And the Raptors with some changes. Pirtles checked in for Achua. Boucher comes in for Pascal Siakam. And it's Porter Jr. in for Van Vliet. And a switch here also for New York. Hardenstein, he's checked in for Sims. Trent hits them both. And man, looking good from the line so far this half. New York has gotten 12 of their points this quarter from deep. Four of six. Trent against Toppin. To the paint. Now Barnes. He's got 15. Ooh, that one makes him 7 for 14. Got a nice rhythm going here today. It's problematic for the defense because Scotty Barnes has been allowed to catch his rhythm and his game is really flowing right now. Barnes against Brunson. Pass to Hartenstein. Six to shoot. A shot from the mid-range. And that one's long. And they're doing strong work on the glass. A plus five advantage for them. Porter against quickly. Porter shot is off. His defensive talent, such a gift for his squad. Boy, you see the effort. You see the range. This guy prides himself in his ability to shut you down. What a terrific pass. Work the ball inside and create a good look for your teammate. Outside Barnes. Here's Boucher for three. The Knicks pull it in. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. Topping with it. Now Porter defending. Pass to Brunson. Here's Hardenstein. To the inside. Here's Barrett. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. You know, sometimes we forget how young some of these guys are. Take R.J. Barrett, making his NBA debut at 19. Still a few years away from hitting his prime. off on the first and specifically with R.J. Barrett it feels like he's a lot older Grant you know B.A. but he's not close to 25 yet so what we see right now it's not what he'll be once R.J. hits his prime still a lot of room to grow for him Fred Van Vliet is checked in for Porter Jr. R.J. Barrett still such a young talent in the NBA but this is something this young man has dreamed about for as long as he can remember he has the work habits and the commitment to be great New York trailing. Pass to Barrett. The kick out to Brunson. Now here's Toppin. Outside Barrett. Outside Brunson. Quickly from outside. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. The Knicks making a switch here. Randall is checked in. Toronto has gotten five of 11 threes to drop so far in this game. Van Vliet outside. Boucher outside. And again, Toronto no good. 
New York has gone four of seven from three. A good percentage in the third quarter. Quickly. Oh, rejected by Pirtle. And they get it back. And they get it back. Pass to Randall. To the middle. Here's Quickly. Hook it. And it's Randall with the assist. Quickly's got his second basket. They're really looking to that inside game here in the second half. Getting away from taking a bunch of threes. Trent outside. Boucher with it. Shot clock at five. Pass to Van Vliet. Another miss. They desperately need a bucket. And for the Knicks, they're shooting about 53% on the third. A very good number. Toronto's got nothing to fall from outside in this third quarter. Boucher, he's open. From out on the wing, he knocks it down. Boucher's got nine. Well, you love the unselfishness of Fred Van Vliet. This guy is so good recognizing when his teammates are open. Well, the Knicks shooting only 38% from the floor. Not great. Quickly, outside. Randall outside. Rebound by the Raptors. Bertle's got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. Oh, and a vicious dunk by Barnes. Oh, Scotty Barnes off the deck and to the cup. Nice finish. There's 57 seconds left in the third quarter. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. Randall, good. And his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. No, I think that's the one thing every player is searching for. Consistency. They're giving this guy a chance to carry the offense once again. Here's Trent. After the basket by New York. Pass to Pirtle. Count it. Good. Six points for him. Well, this is the expectation for Jakob Pirtle. His scoring in the post has to be there for him. Now here's Toppin. Back to Brunson. Here's Hardenstein. Just five to shoot. And here's Quickly, guarded by Trent. The three. Offensive rebound. Van Vliet outside. Excellent D there from Toppin. And so it's the Toronto Raptors with a nine-point cushion at the end of the quarter. Their defensive efforts have paid off, effectively shutting down the opposing offense. We'll be right back after this word. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist to the game. And I'll tell you what, this was a no-brainer tonight. Take a look at the precision on this feed. Couldn't place it any better. And when you're the beneficiary of a pass that good, you better deliver. And he did just that. And this is it. Glad to have you along for this fourth quarter. Van Vliet's gone 4 of 12 from the floor. They've got Gary Trent, Chris Boucher out there with Jakob Pertl. Then there's Scotty Barnes, and it's Banton in at the 2. That's the 5 out there for the Raptors. Now here's Robinson, and it's going to be a 3-second call. Achua's checked in for Trent. And a switch here also for New York. Barrett's checked in. The Raptors with a lead. Here's Benton. And we're going to have a jump ball. You too. And so here is Toronto. Hard with it. And it's Boucher picking him up. Hart passes to Quickly. Back to Hart. Come get it, come get it. Barrett with it. Lots of room. And 
misses it off the right side of the rim. And they've just built this lead by attacking the boards. Now here's Pirtle. Pass to Benton. This one for three. Knocks it down from distance. His vision is excellent for a center. You see it in the assist from Pirtle. He has got such great awareness of his teammates' movements. Now here's quickly. Outside Barrett. And here's quickly. It's stolen by Pirtle. Outside Barnes. And here we go. The Nixon transition. Here's Barrett. It's not going to go for him. Achua with some nice D. This guy just can't find his rhythm. And you look up at the scoreboard, they absolutely need his productivity. Here's Benton, guarded by Quickly. Releases. Benton can't get it to go. I'll tell you, despite his struggles at the offensive end, this team still finds themselves in control of the ball game. Transition basketball, the most reliable way to generate easy looks. The very definition of quality transition offense. If it can end at the cup, it's exactly where you want it. Yeah, just late help on the defensive side. I mean, just another breakdown for them. And I'll tell you, you look up at the scoreboard, that's correct. They have a big lead for a reason. Pass to Barrett. Back to Quickly. Now it's hard. Shot clock at six. Ooh, he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. It goes on Chris Boucher. Man, the defender really went after him. First free throw is good. And the Raptors with some changes. Pascal Siakam comes in for Boucher. And Van Vliet is subbed in for Pirtle. So he picks up just one from the line that time. They're missing a chance to trim the lead by leaving points at the line. Van Vliet against Quickly. Van Vliet, the pass to Siakam. Van Vliet outside. Fires from deep. That shot off. New York goes the other way with it. Just about three minutes through the fourth and final quarter here. Here's Hart. Tipped. Inside, and stolen by Barrett. Throws it up high. Oh, he gets it to fall, and that makes it just a single-digit deficit. Nice touch on both ends of that alley-oop. Hey, when he let go of the pass, I had no idea what he was going for. And we just had to take one more look at that great drive. And he's been incredible this game. And plays like that one show you how locked in he is. Now here's Siakam. The three ball. Hart pulls it in. Hart's got six rebounds in the game. Van Vliet against Quickly. Up top, Robinson. Outside Hart. Pass to Barrett. Let's it go from deep. Rebound by the Raptors. Achua's got six rebounds here tonight. Here's Benton. He's covered by Hart. And then Siakam with the jam. Well, there's a quickness to Siakam in pick and roll action. This guy's so fast and hard to contend with as the roll man. The Knicks have gotten only two of six attempts to drop in the fourth. Time called here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. Scotty Barnes with a strong contribution so far in this one. He's getting loose and doing work. They want to talk this over and find some answers. Julius Randle's checked in for Sims. All right, let's check in with Allie LaForce. 
Thanks, guys. I was able to hear Tom Thibodeau coaching his team during that last break. He was not pleased with the team's focus, saying, quote, we're being flat out reckless. We have to settle down and tighten things up. No more turnovers. Guys. As always, Allie, we thank you. Now here's Robinson. The three. Barrett. Achua with a rebound. Achua's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Here's Van Vliet. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. And when you look at Van Vliet on the floor, you would think he gets targeted on defense. But for a player his size, he more than holds his own. one falls for him and Van Vliet a very solid defender at his position Grant not great length but strong as any BA I mean he has great hands to bother the ball handler and great defensive IQ that makes the most of his athleticism and he makes both free throws hey we've heard a lot of coaches say including Warriors coach Steve Kerr about load management if you want to see the stars play more often Cut the schedule back. Maybe 72 games. Grant, your thoughts? You know, B.A., this is a problem and a concern, I think, for the league. You go back 20, 30 years ago, stars played every night when available. Now you're not seeing that with the workload and the back-to-back -back and the concern with players and their safety and the amounts of money they make over their contracts. 72 games is a possibility, but I prefer to keep it at 82. Maybe I'm just a traditionalist. Achua with the dunk. And I just love how he's making the effort plays that everyone around him appreciates. It is certainly making an impact tonight. No doubt. On the scoreboard, in the body language of the players, you can tell which team is in complete command. And so it's New York with it. After the basket by Toronto. Pass to Barrett. New York needs to get one up quick. The timer ticks. And it's quickly with a miss. They really have a commanding lead, not just in points, but in rebounds as well. Siakam with it. Checked by Randall. Looking to end this cold spell. Siakam, no good. Boy, the wheels have definitely fallen off in this quarter. He cannot buy one. And it's quickly with a miss. Yeah, you have to knock those down. Open shots inside the arc are rare in this league. Van Vliet against Barrett. Van Vliet, the pass to Siakam. From outside the arc. No luck on that one. Some solid defense from Barrett. New York has got nothing to fall from outside the arc here in the fourth. 0 for 4. Quickly outside. And the Knicks miss again. I'll tell you, it's been a struggle for him in this period, and they're struggling as a result. Back to Van Vliet from deep three-point range. Randall pulls down the board. He needs to look to try to drive inside and get going. That outside shot is simply not there. Here's quickly. Deflected. No matter what he's tried, it hasn't worked. Unfortunately, the team is suffering from that. Siakam, that's good. More points coming from inside. In that respect, they've been the more aggressive team. Here's quickly. Pass to Barrett. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. Once R.J. Barrett sees the defense commit, he goes right into attack mode and gets himself a trip to the free throw line. That is beautiful. And he can't get the first one. Gary Trent Jr., he's checked in for Toronto. And the Knicks making a change here as well. Jalen Brunson, he's checked in for quickly. And 
and the second free throw is good. He's forcing the action now, finally getting to the charity stripe after no freebies in the first half. Van Vliet against Brunson. Van Vliet, the pass to Trent. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance at a three-point play. <laughs> They're really working the paint now. That's good from Trent. Gary Trent Jr., to me, guys, the very definition of a true shooter. He believes it's a natural talent, but he also works to develop himself into a reliable and efficient shooter. Now here's Hart. Six on the shot clock. From 11 feet away, rebound by the Raptors. Achua's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Van Vliet against Brunson. Siakam, right side. And a great assist by Van Vliet as that one goes. Van Vliet's got assist number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Now here's Brunson. Well, Grant, in the pace and space era of the NBA, it seems like the rate of free throws league-wide has declined dramatically. Yeah, I love that, B.A. It keeps the game going. There's a flow to the game. And we like it as broadcasters. And you know the fans love it as well. So I hope the league will continue on this trend. And here are the Raptors now. They're on an 18-6 run. Trent outside. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. You can get away with one once in a while. But it looked like he wasn't completely set on that pick. I don't think there's any question. There are so many rules that favor the offense these days. You've got to be able to equal things out when an illegal screen is set. Now here's Hart. Outside Barrett. Hart with it. Trent with the defensive effort. Now Van Vliet. Pass to Barnes. Puts up a three. Here's Achua. Good work defensively by Robinson. Terrific rim protection impacting the shot. Boy, whether he blocks it or simply alters it, the result is pretty much the same. Now here's Robinson. Hart from long range. And that's up and in. Five for 12 in this game. His first triple of the second half. That makes three for the game. Van Vliet against Brunson. Pass to Achua. Van Vliet left side. Siakam played it in with a nice touch off the window. And the Raptors lead by 20. You love that this guy doesn't get down on himself after a rough first half. Keep your composure and keep grinding. New York calls timeout. Well, Grant, the NBA has led the way when it comes to diversity and representation in the high-level jobs. Grant, what are your thoughts on it? Yeah, B.A., I love this. I mean, the NBA really, truly has been a leader when it comes to this. Whether it's coaches, front office, in the, the league office in New York, living and embodying the spirit of diversity and inclusion is what the NBA is all about. It's fun to be a part of. The NBA, where everyone is welcome. And now let's take a look at the New Balance player of the game. Pascal Siakam. Yeah, and it's not surprising. He's really going at the defense inside throughout the entire game. Just showing the D no mercy whatsoever. They constantly were feeding him the ball, clearing out, and letting him do his thing. They were not playing well and were in desperate need of a win. He took this responsibility upon himself, and he delivered. It's tipped. Pass to Van Vliet. Back to Siakam. Shoots over Hart. Siakam, no good. And they're on the run. Here's Barrett. He's off on that one. Achua with some nice D. Barnes passes to Siakam. That one's good. And it's Barnes with the assist. 
Siakam's got 12 points here in the second half. Well, you love the size and the length of Siakam, so he's comfortable in the painted area. Does nice work there. Now the Knicks with it. To the inside. Randall, good. Sometimes it's simple. Put the ball in the hands of your scorers and let them do what they do best. A minute 37 left in the fourth quarter of this one. Here's Achua. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. And you can see how scary this team can be when everything is clicking for them. Just a terrific performance for the Raptors. Pretty clear who the better team was today. They dominated in just about every phase of this game, Grant. <laughs> B.A., it's almost hard to think what didn't go well for them. Their plan, their execution, everything was absolutely on point. And so hard work pays off with their 26th win of the year. And with this victory, they conclude this season series, having won three out of four games these two teams played. Man, you have to recognize what a night it was for Pascal Siakam. Boy, I think he made his presence felt in the paint more than anywhere else. This guy's rebounding numbers were outstanding. He controlled the glass. So New York ends up going with a whole new group. Here's McBride, covered by Boucher. Let's it go from 11. It's deflected. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Knicks will retain possession. Fifty-six seconds left in the fourth. Right wing. Pass to Rose. Five to shoot. The shot no good. So the Raptors will take it the other way. Here's Flynn. Now here's Young. Guarded by Toppin. Outside Young. Using his post moves to get the two points. And the Raptors lead by 20. They got a big lift from their crowd tonight, giving them the energy they needed. What an impressive performance, to say the least. At this point, it looks insurmountable. Rose outside. Pass to Sims. Back to Rose. And it's Boucher with the rebound. Here's Flynn. So it's the Raptors winning this one easily. They didn't have too many problems tonight. They didn't. Just a tremendous team effort. Once they had that big lead, they were not going to let the visitors back into the game. And now we have Allie LaForce standing with the player of the game. Allie, take it away. Hey, fans. Pascal, these days you are called upon to carry this team. Does that bring added pressure? This is a game that I love, and, and, and I just want to have fun playing the game. And I think, you know, I got to just be myself. Like, don't get lost in, in everything going on. Be yourself. Play basketball. Have fun. And, you know, um, I'm just happy to be able to go out there and play hard. Guys, he wants the pressure. Thanks, Pascal. All right, Allie, thank you. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Doris Burke, Allie LaForce, and Grant Hill, and all of our crew, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching this 2K Sports presentation of the NBA. We'll see you next time.